Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here, and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the last episode, we cleared up some routes on the, I guess, the bottom part right of the map, as you can see on the bottom screen there, or on the side screen, I guess, for your case, but I am playing on my bottom screen, of course, because I'm on a 3DS. But yeah, you can see those three water routes right there, we just cleared those up. Routes, I think, 129, 130, 131, I might be wrong, but... Uh, I don't think you guys care too much about that episode anyways, so let's let's get on to this episode. In this episode, there are several things I could be doing that would, I guess, be extra on the side sort of stuff, but in all seriousness, with this playthrough, I just want to get through the game, and I want to have fun doing it, and I don't really find the extra stuff all that fun or beneficial to me in any way because it doesn't directly impact the team I've put together. They would, you know, have allow me to get things in the game to be cool and all, but it doesn't directly impact the team I have. Everything I want for this team, I have accomplished. And so all I have to do now is just get some levels and defeat the Elite Four and all that, and then I think from there the playthrough will be complete. Because although people have been asking me if I want to do the Delta episode and all that, I don't think I will because it's pretty repetitive. It's not something you can really find variety in. It's not like something you can have as like your own unique thing, right? Whereas with the rest of the game, you have the ability to make it unique to your to your own um, style, I guess. And why can't I fly here? There we go. And I can fly. Okay. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It just it's. Not something you can make unique to your own style, it's right, it's like the exact same text and all that, and the exact same trainer battles, and I don't know, it's, just, it's hard to explain my exact thinking, because I realize that sounds like the rest of the game, and that kind of sounds like an idiot to explain it that way, but I think some of you might know what I'm getting at, it's just, it's very, very repetitive, it's very ununique, you can't really, there's not really any way for you making it more creative and different in your own. And I didn't turn on repels, so that might be a bit of an issue, but I think we'll be able to wrap that up pretty quickly. Get out of here, Tentacool. We don't want to waste our time with you. So yeah, let's go ahead and run from this and turn on some repels, because obviously fighting a level ten, a twenty, level twenty-five tentacool is not going to benefit us in any way, shape, or form. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. And actually, I always do that. I always go into the wrong. Actually, I think I should probably be looking them this way. Yeah. I wish this way you can like, search them, but I guess you can't do that. Now I have three of these left, so I think. Once I get over here, I should probably actually do some shopping. Yeah, I think I battled these trainers here, haven't I? Yo, little boy. My aunt told me I have to bring my tube when I go swimming, so I can't be helped. Well, you're in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, so I don't know why you're concerned with the tube now. Like, if you're on the side of the beach, I'd get it, but, like, this guy's in the middle of the goddamn ocean. Alright, Everground City. So, is there any trainers along this area here? Uh... Doesn't look like it. Is the waterfall here? Yeah, the waterfall's here. Okay, so I guess I can't actually do this just yet. So bad organization on my part. I apologize, guys. But I guess what I'll do here is I'll actually head over to Lily Cove City, I'm pretty sure it's called. Because that's where the move deleter is. So I can delete, dive, and replace that with waterfall so I can climb the waterfall. But also so I can go to the department store and get some shit done. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. It shouldn't take us too long, so I won't do it off screen. I'll do it on screen so you guys can see what it is I'm picking up and all that. Although I don't think you guys really care that much anyways, but <laughs> let's go and do it anyways. And what the fuck? I don't want to go in here. No. All right. Here we go. So yeah, first things first, let's go ahead and delete dive. Because although dive's a great move and all that, waterfall is just a better version of it. It's the same power, just hits instantly instead of the other way around. Uh, I can make Pokemon forget their moves. You're here so I can make your Pokemon forget a move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, damn right. But yeah, I, I don't know, and it's also good so I can climb the waterfall, I don't really need to dive anymore, because of course, <laughs> uh, no more diving anymore in this game, I've done it all. And here we go, dive. Forget. And there we go, charming, it worked perfectly. Your Pokemon has completely forgotten how to use dive. Bingo. Because yeah, normally you can't replace a move that's an HM, you have to actually remove an HM like that, it's pretty much the only way to do it. And there we go, waterfall. And now we have waterfall on Swampert. Boom, baby. All right. That's all we have to do there. And I guess I may as well go through the department store and sell a bunch of shit. Because I got a lot of stuff that I don't really need. And it just takes up space. and makes it kind of complicated to go through my bag. But once I've done that, I should be okay. And this one's not a shopkeeper. That one's one of those silly uh, lotto winners or whatever those things are. Here we go. All right. Let's sell first. Okay. We're not going to go through TMs. Let's go through these. I'll go from the bottom first. Oops. I can't use my thumb to do this. There we go. Okay, I can't sell this, obviously. Don't need to sell that. You know, a lot of stuff I can't actually sell. x tack don't need that. Big Pearls, I'll sell those two, and I'll maybe eat some decent cash. Yeah, a lot of these items I could sell, but they aren't really worth much. And all they're doing is just really taking up space. And Eviolite is actually a really good item. Um, but I can't use it, of course. Pearls. Eh, it's still something. 
can't really use it for anything. Heart Scale, I'm going to keep on keep holding on to those because those are good for teaching Pokemon moves they might have known in the past. Yeah, a lot of a lot more Mega Stones than I thought I had. Master Ball, of course. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't have a separate separate area for your balls. That's not really weird, but I think you guys know what I mean. Like your Pokeballs, right? Like why don't they have like a separate pouch for those instead of having all these items all this tossed together? I don't know. I just don't really care for that at all, but that's just me. And I'm getting the vibe here that most of these items I've gone through already and gotten rid of the ones I don't need. So I guess we're okay in, in that department. And yeah, I'll buy. Alright, so we're going to need... I don't think we need any Pokeballs. I think we've done all the capturing we really need for my team. Uh, we might as well... I've got some extra Super Potions in case someone's like slightly low. I'll get a lot of Hypers though. Hypers are really, really good. I like them quite a bit. I'll get 27, so I have 30 total. And I don't really like max potions because none of my Pokemon have much HP anyways. But I will pick up f eight full restores. Just in case somebody in a battle has a status condition and needs some more HP as well. It might be beneficial. Revives. I've got 17 in my bag. Okay, I'm going to need these. Like You guys are going to be surprised by how challenging some of the trainers in Victory Road might be. So I'll pick up those. I don't need this. I'll get full heal because they're really, really nice. They heal anything at all. And I'll get 13 of these some bitches. Yeah, I'm spending big money right now. Alright, I don't need repels except for the max. Here we go. And here's where we go big. Actually, why don't I just do this? There we go. Let's get 48, so we have 50 total. And there we go. We are officially all set. Get out of here. Alright. There's obviously some other things you can buy in this, in this shop that would be beneficial for me. But, with that said, I don't really care that much about those things. They're probably just beneficial in ways that I'm not really concerned with. So considering I went to Evergon City already, or to that area right below it, and this is the wrong Pokemon, I can I can likely fly to that area, can't I? Nope, it's not going to let me fly there. Alright, well I'll fly right below it to where I was before anyways. So yeah, bad organization on my part guys, I apologize, but whenever I boot up these episodes, I just instantly turn on recordings and don't even think about it <laughs> twice, and kind of think through things once I get recordings, so my mistake on that, but I don't think it's too much of an issue. Okay, so... We can surf on now, we can we have our max pal still active from when we turned it on before. So we can just breeze on through back to where we were. And this time we have waterfall and we can tackle Victory Road. And yeah, Victory Road's got a lot of cool things in it. And I was I haven't battled this trainer. Are you serious? Everyone says it's still a long ways away. Alright, I had no idea I didn't battle this trainer, but I guess I'll do that now. But uh what was I saying? Yeah, I was kinda considering actually turning on the EXP share for Victory Road so I can actually have an easier time with uh, the Elite Four. Because I was thinking if I had an easier time to lead forward, then I could do the Delta episode and all that. But I'm not going to do the Delta episode. I think it's a bit of a waste of time. And not to mention, I also believe that I can probably tackle I can probably tackle the Elite Four without the XP share. And so I'm going to try and do exactly that. And if I fail, well, oh well. But if I succeed, it goes to show you really don't need XP share in this game. And Earthquake's going to one-hit the star me. <laughs> Get out of here, man. My first victory seems to be far away, too. Yeah, I don't know how you could possibly not want anything if you have a level 36 Starmie. Like, go ahead and shit on some scrubs. Take a, beat a few gyms. Like, come on. Level 36 Starmie can take on the first, what is that, three, four gyms easily. Just on its own. Single-handedly. Yeah, what are these fools doing? I don't believe it. A surf pro like me can't climb a waterfall. Yeah, you're a dumbass. What about you? The HM move waterfall. Rumor has it that you can't use it unless you defeat the Sutapal's G city gym leader, Wallace. Rumor? True fact. Yeah, this is true. It's a large waterfall, would you like to use? Use waterfall, yes. Used waterfall. Alrighty, here we go. See how sexy this looks in this game. Eh, it's okay. In some of the games, it looks a little lot cooler than that, but I'll, I'll, I can dig it. It's okay. Alright, I obviously don't need to heal my Pokemon, so I won't bother with that. But here we go, Victory Road. Let's read the sign. Entering Victory Road. Yeah, you know, I think of all the games, I think my favorite Victory Road is likely... I want to say Gen 1, but I'm not entirely sure now that I think about it. Because Gen... Pretty much every Gen is good except for Gen 5, I want to say. I really didn't like Gen 5s. I don't know why. I cannot put my finger on exactly why. I think it was because a lot of it outdoors looked really, really, like, set up. It wasn't just a cave that just happened to be there. It was like a purposely made cave, it looked like. And I didn't really care for that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being weird. That tends to be the case in a lot of... Uh, <laughs> that tends to be the case in a lot of situations. Anyways, I should try my item finder, by the way. I haven't done that yet. Any items here? 
And there's a wild one. Did I not have a max repel on? Uh, a Loudred. Okay, I haven't seen one of these in a while. Maybe they're really high level. Is that why? It's level 37. It's not much. Yeah, get me out of here. Yeah, I should be able to evade those things. So I guess I may as well turn on max repels again. Because I guess I turned off... I guess I turned them off by mistake or something. Or Here we go, 50. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't have it on. I thought I did. I guess I'm just being derp. It is pretty late right now, so that's probably why I'm being a little bit derpy today, but that's okay. I didn't come all this way to lose now. That possibility doesn't exist. <laughs> this guy's going to be so distraught when I shell over his face. I mean, he's got green hair. You can't expect to be that smart. <laughs> anyway, Sigalith. A rock slide should do the trick. And how does this guy claim to be so good when he's only got two Pokemon at all? A little 45 as well. Like, it makes no sense to me. I've got six Pokemon level 46. And this guy wants to fight with me. And uses gravity. Like, what's the point of doing that? I don't, I don't see the point. <laughs> I mean, I can see the objective in some matchups. But Swampert? Like, why bother? Mirror move. He used rock slide. Like, again, what, what? why? You know exactly what I just used. You know it's not going to do anything to me at all. Why? <laughs> Damn, the AI in this game, man, is really fucking stupid. <laughs> and I get a crit, but I don't think it makes a difference. And decent XP, actually. Very nice. That's one thing I like about Victory Road, man. You level up so quick. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to leave Victory Road with all 050s. Alright, and a Rhyperior. Ooh, that is a cool Pokemon. I always thought the, the orange blocks it's got going on was a little bit fucked up, but with that said, I still think this Pokemon is pretty damn cool. Now, he's got really high defense, but really low special, so although my physical attack is stronger, using Surf's the better choice here in this scenario because of how much more damage it will do to him because of his unbalanced defensive stats. And it's also quadra effective, so I think I probably would have been fine either way, but still, the little things do count. And there we go, we're already halfway to level 48. Impossible, I lost. Yeah, you lost. Trash. I will admit though, Rhyperior is a very impressive Pokemon to have at this stage of the game. Alright, let's switch into Gilele. I mean, I said that really strange. <laughs> let's pretend that didn't happen, I said it normally, and move on. Ooh, there's a secret item right here. A Max Repel, okay, well... I'm not going to deny it, that's going to be helpful, I'm going to use it, but it's not exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping for something a little bit more fancy. And let's see. Hello, trainer, what's up? This seemingly infinite and harsh road lives up to its name of victory. How does that make any sense at all? Yeah, the harsh road of, of never ending is victory. Like, it doesn't sound like victory in the slightest. Like, I get what she's trying to say, but the, the grammar there was just a little fucked up. And this is a very awkward fight. Frostless versus Glalie. All right, well, I'll go ahead and use Mega Evolution here. And I think I actually have a huge type advantage over her because I have Shadow Ball. And I think, you know, she likely has Shadow Ball too. But she's Ghost Ice. I'm Dark Ice. And so Shadow Ball doesn't really do much to me, whereas it does a lot to her. Because Ghost is good versus Ghost. Kind of like how Dragon's good versus Dragon. So we're going to turn Mega here, look super swag, and hopefully destroy her. Uh-oh. All right, well, hopefully we can break through the confusion and one-hit this person with Shadow Ball. Come on, Glalie. Yes, we did it. Alright, I'm not sure whether this is one, gonna one hit or not, but I really hope it will. Ooh, it did less damage than I expected, but that's still okay. We could also use Crunch. I just realized that. I don't know why I'm such a massive derp. Because <laughs> Crunch is dark, and that's good against Ghost too. So I guess I may as well just do exactly that. And we stepped out the confusion. That's awesome. And yeah, what's Crunch? In fact, I think if I used Crunch originally, I probably would have one hit her, but... Oh well. <laughs> we got a crit. I don't think it matters. Very nice fight for us. We didn't take a single bit of damage. And there we go, level 47. Great stuff. Mediocre stat raise, but I'm okay with it. Your battle style is fantastic. It really wasn't, man. <laughs> I kind of messed up. I should just use Crunch. Whatever. They have the same quotes regardless of what you do. You could walk in there with a Magikarp level 100 and still get them saying the same goddamn thing. Alright, let's go backtrack a little bit. I just want to make sure I covered everything in this area before I move on. Because that's looking like, yep, there's an item right there. I could have walked right past if I didn't backtrack. Yeah, let's grab that. A full heal. Also an item that's, you know, it's not exactly fancy, but it's definitely something I'm going to be using. So I'm okay with that. So let's move on. And of course, I could turn on my bike so I can move faster, but I like the music this area already has as is and I also want to keep my item finder on all the time and you can't have both on simultaneously so it is what it is oh items here here we go an ultra ball all right I'm probably not gonna use that but 
Thanks anyways. Yeah, let's see. Hold on, I'm gonna move. Yes, I will use another. Alright, let's move this rock over to the side so I can continue. And yeah, I, I realize I could use flash to light up this area, but I'm not that concerned with the darkness. Because I can still see what I'm doing and what's around me, and that's that's more than enough to make me satisfied. Even if I do have to squint every once in a while to see what's above me. That's the worst of it, is seeing what's above you. Side to side and down especially is not too bad. But going... Wait, what the fuck? There's something there. Oh, there's an item. I can see it just barely through the darkness. Gimme. Yeah, above you is the hardest to see. Below you, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And side to side, it's not too bad. Alright, let's move on. And there's a trainer here. Hello, old lady. Why are you here? This is not a place for old ladies. Your luck is about to run out. Your fate is to fall before me. Yeah, in, in, in your opinion. <laughs> Doesn't really mean much. It's just your opinion. And a hit on top. That's a pretty interesting Pokemon to have here. I'm surprised to see it stay on two legs instead of its head. And that's not supposed to be an insult. Like, it's literally always on its head in the games that I've seen. And I just noticed I don't have any flying attacks on my Flygon or, or fire attacks. I should probably go out of my way to go get Flamethrower for this thing. I just remembered that. Yeah, oh well. Uh, let's go ahead here and just Dragon Claw, I guess. I could probably use Earthquake as well. Either or, it doesn't really matter. Decent damage. Yeah, Earthquake will, shot, will probably do the trick. And I don't think that's going to do much damage because he is pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, the slower your Pokemon is, I think, is how you dictate the damage of Gyro Ball. I might be wrong. Maybe it's how heavy they are. It's one of those two. I'm not really sure, but... Either way, he's down. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> a throw, really? Okay. This guy might be a little bit tricky. Let's use Dragon Claw again. Ender. Yeah, I don't think I do that much damage, man. So thanks for wasting your turn. I appreciate it. Yeah, I really don't do that much damage. Let's use Earthquake and see how much that does. I realize Earthquake's stronger, but I still prefer to use Dragon Claw. Just to test the waters. And there we go. Circle throw. This might hurt a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, we're fine. A crit, too. What the fuck? Does it have an after effect? Oh, it knocks me out of battle. I've never seen that move before. I thought it was just some sort of standard fighting attack. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's use... Mm, no, let's use Waterfall. I want to try Waterfall to see what the animations like in this game. Alright, alright. I can dig it. That's pretty cool. And that is going to knock him out. Very nice. Good stuff, Swampert. And there we go. Good stuff. No. Yes. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if I even have the TM for Flamethrower. I don't think I do. In fact, I have no idea where I would find it either. Alright, well, I'll worry about that after this episode. After this episode, I'll check it out and I'll do some research and I'll probably do it at the beginning of the next episode. Because, yeah, I don't want to get too sidetracked and just leave because I want an ability for a Pokemon that I don't necessarily need. Well, let's go ahead and use... Let's go ahead here, excuse me, and use a Hyper Potion for our Flygon. And continue. I feel like there's something down here. Oh, wait. Oh, I made a boo boo. Alright, well, we have to go around now. Yeah, you can barely see those ledges, man. It's very dark down here, but it's still manageable, so I'm not going to complain. Cause it's, I did this to myself, man. I could use flash, but all good. And here we go. We're back in the light. Very nice. What's up, man? I've made this far a couple times, but the last stretch is so long. I mean, what happens if he has a spell one faint? Do. Does he just, like, book it with his Pokemon under his arm, something like that? <laughs> While these wild Pokemon are all bombarding him? He's made it this far with just a Mawile? Are you freaking kidding me? I bet you I'm going to one-hit this thing. Yeah, like, Mawile alone gets this far. Like, come on. There's no way. This guy is hacking or something. He's probably wall walking through walls and shit. My dream ends here again. Your dream ends here because you're training trash. Like, I'll admit they buffed up Mawile, giving him a Mega Evolution and giving him Fairy type and all that, but still, man, that's very, very mediocre Pokemon at best. And I will use another. Thank you for asking. Very, very kind. Let's see. What, what is over here? Did I miss something? Nope. Okay. There's an item. Okay. A Max Elixir. Pretty good item. This is, this is the kind of items I just kind of want because. The other rarer stuff, I would say, I'm not going to use, so what's the point? And max elixirs are, you can't buy them in stores, but they're actually pretty helpful in battles, so I like them. And this is the right way, isn't it? I think it is. 
Oh, hello. What's up, man? Yo, quit walk away from me. Wow, what an asshole. He's ignoring me. There we go. Yo, look at all... You look all right for a kid. I can totally get into this. Did he ex just say he can totally get into this, referring to kids? <laughs> I could totally get into kids, man. They're fucking awesome. Yeah. I was gonna, you know, go, go to elementary school, bang a few kids. What a weirdo. Actually, weirdo's an understatement for what that kind of person would be. Jesus. What a creep. Alright, well, this kid is gonna destroy your Houndoom. Although, I do have a lot of appreciation for Houndoom as a Pokemon. I think he's fucking sweet. Flygon takes the cake. Level 47. Very nice. Very good stat race, too. What's our Dragon Rush? Ooh. Yes, forget. Let's see the stats for this. This is like... 75 accuracy. God damn, that sucks. But it's probably gonna be more effective for me than Dragon Breath, so I may as well. There we go. Forgot to use Dragon Breath and learned Dragon Rush. I think all the dragon moves are just like dragon this, dragon that. Whereas, you know, other types they just have the words being self explanatory. Alright, let's go ahead and try Dragon Rush, see what that's like if it even hits. There we go. Holy shit, that looks fucking swaggy. Ooh, almost killed him too. Hurricane. That's actually a really cool move, but I don't think I should be too concerned, because, yeah, typing is not in his favor. Let's go ahead and finish him off with Dragon Claw. See you later, Shiftry. I was actually considering training a, a Shiftry instead of a Brelum, but I just prefer Brelum by a small margin, but I do like them both quite a bit. I underestimated you. Is that right? I mean, I tend to get that a lot. <laughs> Concern, you know, this kid's, it's literally a kid that you're playing as in this game. I wish they give you more character customization instead of saying, oh yeah, I'm a boy, oh yeah, I'm a girl. Like, actually give you the option of saying, like, oh yeah, I'm actually a teenager. Oh no, I'm a toddler. Oh no, you know, I'm some old guy who walks this at the pace of a slug. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Or an invincible combination will be burnt will be burned into your memory. Man, this guy's very aggressive with his words. We're so good, we're gonna burn you into your memory. Like, damn. Or burn us into your memory. Really? They're going with the fossil Pokemon? I mean, okay. If that's what you're into. I'll just go for an Earthquake while I have Swallow out. I mean, that seems like a pretty much perfect combo. And I think it might be wise for me to use Aerial Ace on literally either of them. I don't really know which one makes more sense. I'm going to go with Cradilly because I find that put one really obnoxious. But yeah, this should do a lot of damage to both of them, actually. Although it might not seem like much, you got to keep in mind the power was split because... Well, I do no damage. What the fuck? Okay, I may not. I don't even know, man. Crush Claw. That's gonna do some damage. Yeah, that just did more than I expected. And Defense fell. Oh, oh god. That's no good. Alright, well, let's just keep spamming Earthquake. And... Maybe could use Steel Wing. I could try that. Because I know it's actually pretty effective against Cradilly. Yeah, do some nice damage. Steel Wing, come on. Let's see if this can take it out. It's got really high defense, so I kind of doubt it. Ooh, it did. Very nice. Good job, Swellow. Use Brine. I didn't know I learned Brine. Alright, well, Flygon's likely dead. Ooh, it lived. Good job, man. Alright, let's use Dragon Claw just to make sure it hits. And we'll finish him off with... Use Rock Bug, I'm pretty sure. I think Steel can work against Bug. So let's go ahead and use the uh, Steel Wing on him as well. And there we go. Our Maldo's gone. And yeah, it was actually super effective. I should have used that originally instead of... Air lace. I don't know what I was thinking. But there we go. A little 48 on our flag on. I didn't really plan that one, but I'm definitely okay with it. And almost a little 47 onto our Swellow. Ugh, what happened? I'm so terribly sorry, m'lady. M'lady, what is this? Star Wars? I don't know if anyone noticed that, but pretty much every time everyone's talking to Padme, like m'lady. In episode 2. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. Let's go ahead and switch around our Pokemon a little bit here. And put him in Netric in the lead. And I'll leave Flygon actually at low HP, just in case we get through the Elite Four. Or not the Elite Four, in fact, imagine that. If we get through Victory Row without needing him again, because I don't want to waste a potion. Anyways, let's proceed. Actually, I feel like there's something down here. There is. Okay. An item. Ooh, what is it? Please be Flamethrower. Psychic. Okay, it's still good. I still can definitely use that. But yeah, I actually have no idea where Flamethrower is. And although I would appreciate 
you guys commenting let me know wh where it is and all that by the time you comment I'll probably have already looked it up so don't bother but I do appreciate the thought and the sentiment and all that guys all right anyways let's proceed what's up old lady why are you here I have no time for idle talk let us see your conviction then why would you even say that in the first place why would you just like get out your pokeball and just throw it at me and be like on guard or some shit and it's an expert it's a dude okay I thought it was I thought it was a chick my bad He's got a sock though. Yeah, I've always liked sock more than throw, just because I don't know. I like blue better than red. I guess I can't really think of any other reason. <laughs> I guess he's thinner too, which is I don't know something. I guess I, I prefer in my characters instead of being really really stocky like throw was. But anyways, we get a spam discharge, and this guy is gonna go down very swiftly for us. See there, sock. Your conviction could even crush rock. Yeah, alright, man. <laughs> Whatever you say. I'm not really into hitting rocks, but if that's what you're into, man, uh, more power to you. Anyways, let's proceed. I feel like there's a puzzle here of, of uh, strength rocks, so I could probably find some sort of an item in here that might be beneficial for me. Oops, I think I messed it up. Nope. I, no, I totally did. Yeah, I messed this up, didn't I? I don't even know what's there in the first place. Like I'm trying to look by slouching a little bit. Or not slouching, it's the wrong word. But trying to get the right angle. But I just can't quite see what's behind there. Eh, whatever. I trained together with my whole family. Every one of us. I'm not losing to anyone. Holy shit, is this the guy from that family over by um that house? I don't know if you guys remember that house. That there's like a bunch of trainers who have to fight back to back. I feel like this is the guy that they're talking about saying, Oh yeah, well, our son's probably already taking on the Elite Four. I bet you that's him right here. Oh well, he's trash anyways, we'll just destroy him. Uh, depending upon what ability Electrode has, it might be a wise choice to use Discharge, but if it has an electric ability that allows it to like absorb it or block it or whatever, then I'll have to use other abilities, but I think we might be okay with Discharge. Okay, I did like nothing. Okay, let's see what happens if I use Fire Fang? Bite? Not Fire Fang. Magnet Rise. Okay, well I'm not using Ground Attacks anytime soon, man, so... Yeah, just whatever, man. And okay, de decent damage. If I can get a burn on this guy, that might be really beneficial. Self destruct. Why would you use all those setup moves just to blow up? I, I don't understand the purpose behind that, and I'm just gonna survive anyways. Like, what the fuck was that? And this guy had his family verbally sucking him off, like, oh yeah, our son's so good. Oh, 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 oh. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, this guy's weird. Anyways, let's go Mega and try and see if we can one-hit this Dermanitan, because I don't think we're going to survive otherwise. And I'm in no mood to switch. Intimidate could lower his attack, and that'll be really beneficial for us, because he's a physical attacker, primarily. Come on, kill him. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Although, I do think the crit did make a difference for sure there. I don't think I would have one-hit him, but that's still very nice for me. And a Swallow it. I don't think this guy's gonna one hit me either. I think we'll be okay. Let's go and use discharge as well. And holy shit, this guy's tanky. What the fuck? And that is gonna take me out. Wow. I'm very impressed. This guy is very, very strong. Okay, what do I have to deal with this guy? I mean, I have ground Pokemon, of course, but I'm trying to look in between Brellum and Swellow. And I don't think either of them have the tools they need to take this guy out. So what I'm gonna do instead is put in Swampert. Because he's the next best. He's like pretty much the best thing I got against this guy. Him and Flygon. I'd rather use Swampert than Flygon. So let's go and use Earthquake. This should do some decent damage. Because as far as I know, Swallow's special defense is really good. But his defense is not. So yeah, Earthquake's going to knock him right on out. And there we go. Almost level 48 on this guy. Better than my family? Is that even possible? Yeah, it is because I beat them. <laughs> I remember beating them very easily. Alright, let's go and use a Revive here onto our Benetric. And while I'm here, I'm getting a feeling I'm going to need my Flygon more than I thought I was. So let's go out here and just heal him up as well. Alright, and let's get the ball rolling. So what's in this corner here? Is there anything? Oh, there's a Pokeball right in front of me. I couldn't even see it. A Full Restore. That is actually pretty good. Thank you. And considering I battled someone, does that reset the, the, uh, the rocks over here? If it does, I can actually do things. It did... Not? Yeah, I did not. Okay, never mind. I'll have to end exit the area and come back then if I really want to check out those rocks. 
As a dragon trainer. Hey, what's up, man? Dragon types are the strongest Pokemon. I'll poo that with the likes of you. I have to agree with them, man. I actually love dragon types. Dragon types are probably my favorite. I'm trying to think what other types like could, could even consider contesting for instead of dragons. Like I just love dragons. I love fire type like water. I don't really care for grass because most of the grass types are like a combo of like grass and like really really boring types like poison. I don't really like poison at all. Uh, let's go ahead and use, just use Mega and try to stress this guy. I'm thinking I want to use Wild Charge because I know his defense is smaller than his special, but my special is really really good. So I'm thinking Discharge, regardless, makes the most sense. But what else? What was I talking about? I can't recall. Let's talk about something. But yeah, I seriously, I lost my train of thought, so I'm just going to destroy this Kingdra. And there we go, half his health and he's paralyzed. That's a good start for me. Dragon Pulse, will do some decent damage, but I'm not concerned. And that's what I was thinking about, favorite types. Yeah. I, I quite like Steel types, I think they're pretty cool, but there's not very many of them. Electric types are pretty cool as well, I like them. Yeah, there's, there's a few I like, but Dragon's by far my favorite. And see you later, bud. You... Yeah, you took on my Wicker Pokemon and you still managed to get destroyed. What does that tell you? Alright, so we should be able to climb this and come back to the, the strength area and possibly get that item that I missed. Yeah, the rocks don't reset if you put them into a hole. Otherwise, they do reset, I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be very disappointed because like, the rock would be there forever. And that would be pretty shitty. <laughs> but yeah, I think it does reset. Yeah, it did reset. Good. So let's try this again. I have an idea what I'm supposed to do. The question is, is can I do it? Because it's not entirely up to me. It's also about, can I actually see? Yeah, no, I ha I'm forced. Okay, one step. Okay, here we go. I got it. I think. Wait, no, I didn't get it. Knock it one more time. And got it. There we go. Where's the item? There we go. Flamethrower. Exactly what I was hoping for, too. It's a good thing I came back and got this. Now I can teach my Pokemon Flamethrower. God bless. Because as you guys can tell from my team, I don't have a fire type. And I've been thinking about getting a fire type on my team ever since I started, really. But it never seemed to make sense to me because the fire types in this game suck. But now we have Flamethrower. And this is going to allow not only Manetric, but also our Flygon to both know Flamethrower, which is going to fill that void of no fire type, which is freaking awesome. And not to mention special, so it's really, really good on Manetric. So now I have him basically being my electric and my fire type all in one. Even though, you know, of course, his fire attacks won't be as strong because he doesn't have stab, but that's totally fine. Uh, for those who don't know what stab is, it stands for something along the lines of being the same type as your move makes it more strong. So, you know, fire type using a fire move is going to be stronger than, uh, you know, a manetric using flamethrower, for example. But anyways, uh, let's remove Dragon Rush is what I'm thinking because Earthquake's key, Dragon Claw's key, Crunch is actually pretty beneficial for us. And I don't really see the point in keeping Dragon Rush when it's actually is that low and the power difference is really, really minimal. So I'm just going to get rid of it. So there we go. Now we have Flamethrower. That is huge for us. I'm so happy I found that because if I didn't find that, I would have been really upset because I would have walked right past it. But there we go, guys. Holy shit. This is awesome. All right. And from here, there's actually an area we can surf on. So let's go ahead and surf right here and see what we can find. And there's looks like we're blocked off this way, but if we head down here, we might be able to find something. Oh, no, there's something here. Well, rip. But I did see there's a cavern to my right that I might have already gone through, but I'm not entirely sure. But I'm not too concerned. Let's just go on up. Okay, turn the item finder again. And keep on trucking. Yeah, I'm actually really excited to use Flamethrower on my Manetric now that I have it. I right, remember seeing that guy earlier. Guy's insulting me and telling me he wants to get into kids. Hey, there's some trainer talking to me. You attack first, just like we planned. Alright, so it's a double battle, I guess. You're telling my brains and brawn, Adam and Finn. Okay. Masharna and Primeape. I had no idea this Pokemon were in this region, but I guess this answers that. So I'm gonna use Swellow and Manetric here, because I don't really have much choice. <laughs> And he senses my wild charge, well I don't see why you'd be concerned with that, but oh well. I can't have to use Discharge because it would hit Swellow, which is a huge problem for me. And as far as the typing, I'm thinking I kind of want to deal with Primate because he's the kind of guy who's just going to instantly run at you and destroy you. So I'm just going to go Flamethrower on him because my special's high. And 
I'll use Aerial Ace, and I think that would probably take him out. Yeah, there's a high chance that Aerial Ace will do the one-shot, but just in case, I have that Flamethrower on the side just to take him out. Intimidate, it's also going to lower their attacks, so Primate won't be an issue as much, at least. Aerial Ace. Okay, let's see if this one hits. It did not. That's what I expected. Good. And boom. Flamethrower will finish him off. Yeah, that is freaking awesome. I'm so happy I have that ability because Fire Fang is a good substitute for the time being if I needed a fire attack, but it's nothing in comparison to Flamethrower. And damn, four extra special attack. Look how high my special attack is when I'm mega. That is freaking sweet. And there we go, level 47 on Swellow as well. Mediocre stat race, but yeah, Swellow is just not that great of a Pokemon, but he's managed to help me get to this point, which is something I can appreciate and has value. Alright, let's go ahead and just use Bite. It is super effective, so it'll probably be okay for me to use that. And let's also use these Psychic types. I don't think I can really do much. I mean, yeah, Quick Attack won't do much. Steel Wing won't do much. Aerial Ace just seems like the go-to, because if I use Fly, which is my most powerful move, I'm leaving Manetric open and taking extra hits he doesn't need to take. And damn, it did like no damage. That's what Aerial Ace does. Okay. Psybeam. I think Manetric might be dead. Yeah, that's fine though. He leveled up. That's all I really wanted. Let's see what makes sense to put in next. While I want to put in Brelum, a Psybeam would take him out. But with that said, I think Brelum might be strong enough to brute force through it and outspeed through it. As long as he synergizes as well with Swellow. So let's see what we can do. I'll use Seed Bomb, hoping to get a lot of damage off. And yeah, I mean, Aerialist is the only thing I got that's going to do a lot of damage to this guy. So let's go ahead and do that. It's the most damage I got for one turn. And there is a crit. I needed that, so thank you, Swellow. And Seabomb should finish the trick. There we go. I both got crits. Damn, I feel bad for this guy, actually, because that was super unlucky for him, but... I can't complain too much. It's an AI, anyways. It's all your fault. Put yourself together. Nah, I, I blame the game, man. I got two crits back-to-back, -back, which I think might have changed the outcome of that battle drastically. But I think at the end of the battle, obviously, I would have won, so it doesn't really matter that much. Just saves me some items. Alright, he's a Hyper... On him as well. Here we go. And wait, I did this wrong, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, hold on. Switch him for Brelum. There we go. Okay. Well, let's continue. I will use another thanks. Wait, are we towards the end already? I feel like that was very, very quick. Am I stupid? Or am I thinking that we're... Towards the end too soon. Well, there's actually a waterfall we can climb here. I bet you there's something cool up here. Yes, I would like to climb the waterfall. And there's a TM right here. An HM, actually. Or maybe... No, it's just a TM. X-Scissor. That's actually a great ability. I don't think any of my Pokemon can learn it, but it's a great ability. I'm going to go ahead and check, just to be sure, but I, I seriously doubt even my Pokemon can learn it. Except for possibly Flygon. Nah, he can't learn it. I really wish Flygon could learn it, because that would be such a good move for Flygon. But no, he can't. Damn shame. Oh well. It is what it is. May as well head back down the waterfall. There we go. And let's see. What is over here? Is that the exit? Damn. Victory Road was easy. What the fuck? Like, that was incredibly easy. I am surprised by how easy they made it in this game. Like, that was pitiful, but we still battle good old Wally here. Ah, Captain Monk. I bet you must be surprised to see me in a place like this. That promise we made back then, thank you for keeping me your end of it. It was really all thanks to you that I could make it this far, Captain Monk. It was only because I lost to you back then that I could become even stronger. I'm sure that you and your Pokemon must have overcome a lot too. To make it all the way here, right, Captain Monk? Everyone's grown so much, and now we'll finally get to see just what we all can do. Standing here facing you again gives me chills. Damn, that face. But I won't give up. Aw, oh, the guitar. I won't lose anymore. My Pokemon have given me the courage and strength to fight. I have to win for their sake. So get ready. Here I come. Aw, oh, yeah. Get your left arm up. Show me how strong you are. Ooh, shiny necklace. Looks so unsure. It's just like I'm terrified. Altaria. Well, that is a terrible matchup for me to start off with with Brelum out. 
But with that said, I do think I have the advantage of being able to switch. Well, it's not really an advantage, but it's, it's a luxury. Let's call it that instead. He's probably going to use a flying attack, but I'm pretty sure I can survive it with Glalie. And then I'll just use a nice attack, and that'll be that. Alright, Dragon Pulse, really? I'm surprised to use a Dragon Attack instead of a Flying Attack against Brelum, because Dragon Attacks aren't that much of a benefit, whereas a, a Flying Attack would have been quite effective, but that's fine. Let's just go Mega, actually. I'm feeling I'm feeling Mega. Now let's go with Ice Beam. Yeah, Mega Glalie just looks super swag, so I may as well. There we go. Ice Beam. There we go. And that should definitely one-shot. No way Jose is he going to live. Bye bye Altaria. And Brelum got some XP as well. Magneton. Yeah, this is a matchup I could definitely see Brelum doing well in. And I do want to get le levels on Brelum because he's only level 46 right now. So I'll go ahead and switch him back in. Alright, Brelum, make me proud. Screech. That's not going to do much. It's going to lower my defense, I'm pretty sure, right? And from there, he's just going to get one hit anyways by Sky Uppercut. So we're fine. Yeah, steel types don't stand a chance against a fight type, but he does have sturdy, it looks like. I hit a crit, but I don't think it matters. He injured the hit. Flash cannon, that's not going to do much. I mean, yeah, it's a stab for him, but yeah, it's only going to do half because it's not super effective. Alright, let's use Mac Punch to finish the deal. See there, Megaton. Alright, almost level 40, 47. Delcaddy, same thing as Magaton, man. He's just gonna get one hit as long as I can hit that first hit. Sky Uppercut, please. There we go, I got the first hit. See you there, Delcaddy. Bye bye. Yeah, I don't know why he went to that matchup. That was very unwise. And there we are, level 47 Umbrella. Feeling like a player. Alright, Roselia, really? Okay. Probably can't do much there. He's got poison attacks, which will probably destroy me. Let's put in Swello to wrap up the Roselia. A Petal Blizzard. That's a pretty cool move, actually, but I'm not too concerned. Yeah, fly attacks. Or flying Pokemon, excuse me, are not going to take much damage from that. And I'll go ahead and use Fly just to make sure I get the one hit. Petal Blizzard again. I'm going to avoid that. Even though it's a Blizzard and you'd think someone flying a Pyre in the Blizzard would be effective. Affected, excuse me. Doesn't matter. There we go. See you later, Roselio. Get one hit. And who's last? The Gallade. Okay. I do believe, actually, I can survive this fight with Swellow, so I'm going to leave him out. I'm going to use Fly. Yeah, Mega Gallade is freaking awesome, man. I love that Pokemon, but... I do believe Swellow can actually take on the Gallade with ease. Sword Stance, alright, that's a bit of a problem. Because if he manages to get attack off, it's going to hurt now. But if I manage to one-hit him here, it's not a concern the slightest. And I do almost get the one-hit, actually. He survives, ba just barely. And yeah, that's going to one-shot. Yeah, not exactly surprised. What I am surprised by, though, is that he managed to survive. But, like, that was like, the smallest amount of HP ever. Look at that. But, whatever. What I'm going to do here is actually I'm going to put in Glalie because I did make a Mega, so I may as well put him in. And I just realized what a massive mistake I just made because if Gla Glalie's faster, I've just killed my Glalie. Eh, I think we'll be okay. Shadow Ball, come on, go faster. Psycho Cut. He didn't use Close Combat. Why did he not use Close Combat? Oh. Okay, I guess he doesn't need it. <laughs> just destroyed me. Alright, I'll just put in Brelum. Fuck it. My reasoning for putting Brelum in is because Mac Punch is priority, so... I should be able to take him out. Yeah, I'm surprised Psycho Cut actually killed uh, Glalie like that. That was pretty insane. And yeah, I got a crit that doesn't really make a difference. See you later. And that's a lot of XP. Very nice. Yeah, it's a little bit more challenging than I would have expected, but that's okay. Dot, dot, dot. I've lost. Damn right, you've lost. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Arg. Damn. Talk about salt. How many dots does this guy got to talk about? Ha. Huh. Captain Monk, you and your Pokemon too. Thank you for not holding back when you battled us against us. For not holding back when you beat us. And Gallade, everyone. Thank you so much. I like how he only says Gallade and says just everyone else. Because they're all just trash. I feel like I've been able to take another step forward thanks to you. 
Oh, I know. I'll give this to you to keep. I know it'll... I hope it will... Wait, what the heck? I hope it will always remind you of your battle with me and with Galley and the rest of my team. Yeah, again, Galley and the rest of my team. Dawnstone. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, it doesn't give any credit to the rest of his team. It just says, and the rest. <laughs> if you have a male Kirlia as one of your partners, Captain Monk, I hope that you might use that Dawnstone on it for me. I couldn't beat you this time, Captain Monk, but I'll stay here and continue training. And one day, look up. I swear I'll catch up to you one day. When I do, I... When I do, promise we'll battle again. That's a promise I intend to live up to. Alright, Wally. Whatever you say, man. And here we go. We'll continue. And there's the exit. Yeah, I'm still extremely surprised by how easy the uh, victory road was. Like, that was ridiculous. Like, in the past games, it's been much more challenging. But this one was a breeze. I only had to use, like, what? One revive, maybe two? And heal up, like, maybe three Pokemon? It's a little bit ridiculous. I will not use another, and why is there like a Mega Stone just sitting right here outside the Pokemon thing? A Mewtwo Knight, why? I mean, thank you, but why is that right outside the... This, of all places. <laughs> Whatever, it's a really awkward spot. Alright, and here we are. So, uh, that's it for this episode here, guys. Hopefully you guys liked this episode. Of course, if you did, make sure to drop a like rating. And the next episode will be the finale, actually. will be taking on the Elite Four alongside the Champion. Which will be a lot of fun, so make sure to tune in for that, because again, that will be the finale episode. I'm not going to do the death episode or any of the extra stuff afterwards, because I feel like it's kind of not really that interesting and not really that fun either. And I want to kind of keep this playthrough specifically about, you know, the main part of the game and what's fun and what, what I can make unique for you guys, if that makes sense. So uh, that's it here, guys. Hope you all liked it, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.